Hi, Ron Kerr with Houston Seismic here, and look, I'm going to say please, please, please fill out your EPSIDIC headers. If you're doing a SegWi file in your processor, fill out the EPSIDIC header. If you're an interpreter, read the EPSIDIC header. There's always good information in there. The EPSIDIC header is, according to Wikipedia, was developed in 1963 by IBM. It's still around these days for at the start of every SegWi file. Apparently it stands for Extended Binary Coded Decimal Interchange Code. Phew, that's a lot. But what it's done for is it gives all this information on, on the SegWi file. Is it, is, is it seismic? Is it velocity? Is it anisotropy terms? Please put in stuff like the project name, the what it is, the geographical location, the client, the date, the company that did the work, something about the acquisition, a lot about the processing flow, please. If it's land data, we want to know the datum elevation, the navigation projection, the corner coordinate points, the trace header locations. What byte number do I see the inline, cross line, x and y coordinates, or the elevation? Any legalities. A lot of times, data owner wants their name in there. The most frustrating thing is to look for the EPSIDIC header and it's blank. Please fill it out. If you, have, if you need any help on uh, seismic processing consulting work, please give me an email, ron.kerr at houstonseismic.com.